Hello everyone, it is Earth Day today. We are so excited to celebrate Earth Day and think about how we can help save the planet. And so for today's tips, we have two tips. You can either try to plant something new, maybe a vegetable that you and your family could eat, or a pretty flower or a tree, or you can also try having a completely green meal. Have everything on your plate be green. Try green beans and asparagus and broccoli and peas and all different kinds of fun green foods. And for today's story, we're reading a really cool story called We Travel So Far. We've got Levi here with us to help us read the story. Can you wave, Levi? Can you wave hello? Good waving. Good waving. So this is We Travel So Far. It's all about animals who migrate and travel a long distance. We are the leatherback turtles. We are record-breaking ocean swimmers. We travel as far as 10,000 kilometers in search of clouds of delicious jellyfish. No one knows how we do it. But after all our ocean roving, we can find our way back to the same beach where we were born years before so that we can lay our own eggs there. <gasps> we, yeah, the beach. We are the humpback whales, the long way swimmers, the ocean rovers. In winter, we swim to the warm tropical seas. It's the perfect place for our babies to be born. Then we feast on tiny fish and krill and fatten up for another year. We are the sockeye salmon, the slippery shimmery salmon. We've traveled across the ocean, making our way home to the rivers where we hatched. Now we must swim against the current, up the waterfalls, through the raging rapids and past the hungry bears. When we reach the shallow gentle streams, we'll lay our eggs. Our journey will be done, but new salmon will hatch and begin their own journey back to the ocean. We are the Caribbean spiny lobsters. We live in shallow coastal waters. We hide in cracks and crevices. We like the warm, calm seas. But as winter approaches, so do the storms. Quick, we must travel into deep water where the water won't be stirred up. Our journey is quite a sight to see. We link up to a long line of spiky seafloor scuttlers. How do we find the way? We have our own magnetic compass. Wow, so cool. We are the European eels. We are the long, slippery swimmers. For most of our lives, we live in rivers. We grow big, we grow old, and we wait. On a dark autumn night, we begin our journey. As we reach the salty coast, our eyes grow big and our skin turns to shimmering silver. We will swim all the way across the mighty Atlantic Ocean until we reach the Sargasso Sea. There, we will lay our eggs. Our eggs will hatch into larvae. Eventually, the larvae will drift back to the rivers and change into young eels, ready to grow big, old, and wait. Oh, we are the wandering albatross the long-winged wind runners. We speed above the waves, we soar through the skies. Across the stormy southern oceans, we keep, our, we keep up our flight for hours on end. We feed at night and rest on the ocean's choppy surface. We only come back to land once every two years. Wow. <gasps> we are the whooping cranes, the ghostly white flyers. We travel the length of North America, flying south for the winter. Once, humans were our enemies, and there were only a few of us left. We were hunted, and our habitat was taken. Now, oh no, oh no. Now, humans are our helpers. It takes care, it takes time, but they are teaching us routes that cranes once flew. Levi, do you see a bird? Oh, let's look at the bird. Wow. Good job being a little junior ranger. A junior We are the zebra, a sea of stripes on the Serengeti. All our lives we must keep on the move. Our hooves take us to find new food. With our strong teeth and stomachs, we <laughs> munch through the tough, dry grass. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we are the polar bears. Wow, we've been waiting for winter. We've been waiting for the sea ice to form. Now we can journey across ice sheets. We can hunt in the freezing Arctic seas. As we travel, 
Our cubs will grow strong. They will learn how to survive in this cold white world. But if the world gets warmer, there will be no ice. If there's no ice, there'll be nowhere for us to hunt. How will we survive in the warm, wet world? We are the caribou, the thick-furred travelers of the icy north. Every year, in long and winding lines, we journey further than any other animal on four legs. With our wide and padded feet, we walk in each other's footprints to keep out of the deep snow. In spring, we move north to graze on lush meadow grass. In autumn, we move south where we scrape through the snow to nibble on lichen. Soon, we will begin the journey again. Oh. Wow. Oh. We are the African elephants, the giants of the savanna. <laughs> oh, is that elephants marching? Yeah. Yeah, good job, Levi. We march through tall grasses. Swish, swish, swish. We march across the dry earth. Thump, thump, thump. Our matriarch leads the way. She is the oldest, strongest female. She remembers where to find water and food. During the dry seasons, water holes are empty. Many thirsty family groups join together in a huge herd. We march onwards until we finally reach the river. Levi, how does an elephant march? Three, four, two, three, four. That's right. Ooh, we are the Galapagos land iguanas. We are the heat-seeking, dust-digging dragons. We live on the lava fields of Fer Fernandina, a small and distant island. When it's time to lay our eggs, we start the long, hard climb to the rim of a volcano. There, we dig our nests in the soft ash. The volcano's heat will keep our eggs warm until they hatch. Wow. I hope you loved learning about all these different kinds of animals. Yes. Did you like it, Levi? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. We hope you have a wonderful Earth Day. Good to see you.